large UFO larger than planet Earth has been spotted draining plasma from the sun for the second time in the past 10 years. On April 19, 2022, a large planet-sized object was spotted sucking plasma from the sun over the course of several hours before quickly shooting off. This exact same thing happened between March 6th and March 12th of 2012. What could this object be, and why is it sucking plasma from the sun? This object is several times larger than planet Earth, and it quickly moves into the sun, drains plasma, and then shoots off. Proverbs 15 and 3 the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Shai are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Shalom Machiam. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Shai, Bashem Rakok Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Mosto. Peace and mercy to the elect who the house of David will be born again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Yasharala who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're talking about the video clip we just seen, and talk about the chariots of the Lord. The video we've just seen actually captured what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, but which the Bible describes as the chariots of the Lord, right? And what, you're, what we just read here in the scripture in Proverbs is referring to these chariots as they travel around our world, uh, beholding everything that's going on and taking it back to report to the Most High what they have found, okay? Now, as you've seen in that video, they showed that this is not only the first time that this larger than earth mass, which looks like a, a circular UFO, has done what appears to be draining plasma from the sun, right? So this shows you that this isn't just some glitch in the camera or just some, you know, anomaly that can, you know, that just happens out of nowhere. But no, this is actually uh, something that was captured uh, that's taking place outside uh, of, of our realm, right? Outside of the heaven of earth, right? In the higher heavens, as it explains in the Bible, right? And if you've been watching my videos and other videos that brothers share about these uh, chariot sightings, then you know about this chariot that was captured a few months ago that was even larger than uh, than the earth as well. I believe it might even be the same uh, chariot that was captured, right? Space, and look at things floating around out there. That is the question. Now we have a planet. Well, here it is. This is from W7. But you can see this right here is the wing of the satellite. This is the uh, earth and this large chariot right it looks kind of like a ring i don't know if any of you Aki, have seen the original transformer cartoon movie but there's a the bad character in there is called unicron right and and it's a it's a planet sized uh, transformer right? it looks just like this right well either way this I'm, I'm showing this video to prove that there's been multiple sightings of these larger than earth uh, you know, chariots, right? To just show you how big, uh, you know, on a scale that we're actually dealing with, right? And the thing is, is that besides these chariots being so large, there's many of them, right? As the scriptures in Proverbs says, right? That these, these eyes of the Lord, right? These chariots, these so-called UFOs are in every place, right? This is why we're seeing so many videos of what looks like glowing balls of light, just, you know, flying around the earth, right? Being captured um, by people now, right? And that 
more likely is due to to the fact that the Lord is close to making his second second coming, right? And also to the fact that everybody now has a phone, so everything is being captured now, right? So you know, consider that. But what does it say here in Second Ezra? Second Ezra 15:34. Behold, clouds from the east and from the north onto the south, and they are very horrible to look upon, full of wrath and storm. Right? So these chariots, these massive, humongous crafts, not only are they buzzing the earth and basically orbiting in our, in our solar system, but pretty soon they're going to make an appearance. And when they make an appearance, it's not going to be an on like a like a, a jovial event. No, it's going to be terrifying, right? What does it say here? That the and that they're horrible to look upon. And why is that? Well, that's because everybody on the earth, you know, except for the elect in the 144,000, understand that these uh, so-called UFOs are the chariots. Now, everybody else in the world believes that they're some sort of invading force, a little, you know, green or gray, you know, big-eyed aliens, you know, all these things, right? And that's because the devils that rule this world, right, the so-called Caucasian race, which biblically they're referred to as the nation of Edom, which is the last prophesied nation to be in rulership of the world and who would have the world upside down um, before the second coming of the Messiah, right? They have misled, right? They have misinformed the world as far as to what these, you know, these globes of light, these massive, uh, you know, objects in space actually are, right? NASA either cuts off feeds of these, of, of these uh, objects when they're recorded, or, you know, they'll go off and they'll say that they're drones or that they're a helicopter and all this stuff when, you know, the their physics defy that explanation. There's no uh, blinking safety lights that you always see those green and red safety lights on planes. No, these, these are, you know, chariots, right? And, and through the spirit, we here uh, who are in this truth, right? We understand that these are the same chariots that were described in the Bible, right? And if, if you're un, unaware, these are the scriptures that talk about the, uh, the chariots. These are just some of the, the, the scriptures, excuse me. And again, uh, let me zoom in real quick. So these are those globes of lights that I'm talking to you about, right? Here's even an, an image of, of a chariot which was caught over uh, China, man. It, it's crazy, this video, right? It, it shows that it's shooting down like a beam. Here, here's that same craft, right? And it had different uh, globes around it. And it's like scanning the ground, right? Now, besides that, you also have this video here, which was made famous a few years ago from uh, where they, the, uh, these people here, I think it's called the, the New Camelot Project, which is they're basically like a truth organization group. Well, they interviewed this NASA scientist called Norman uh, Bergren, right? He's a, a author, he, he wrote a book called the, I think it's called the designer of Saturn ring, Saturn's rings or something, or, or the creators of Saturn rings, something to that, to that uh, note. But he, he, in this interview, he actually said that they had seen beings uh, on, I think it was either Mars or, or Jupiter, I think it was Mars, but he said that they witnessed these beings getting out of this craft and that these beings he said they were from seven to 10 feet tall. And not only that, that they were black angels. They were black people, right? And she said, oh, like they were dark. And she, this lady says, oh, like they were dark. And she, he says, no, they were black, right? And so you see this, this is the, the, the truth. This is the truth that is being kept from, from the world, right? And this isn't the only time that, that these chariots have been seen around the world, right? No, these chariots, have been recorded through history, right? Just take a look at some of these um, these artist renditions, right? That have been captured throughout history, right? A 17th century uh, French token coin from from France called the Jotons, right? It basically it, it depicts a shield in the sky, right? 
over an event that took place. You also have uh, this it says from 1350 AD, the crucifixion, the Vasaki Dekani Monetary in Kosovo, Yugoslavia, right? And up here in these corners, look what they're, they're showing. They're showing these beams of light, right? And they have people inside of them, right? Well, what is that trying to depict, right? <laughs> the chariots, of course, right? And then, this, then basically from a 1380 painting, you've got another uh, chariot hovering over a, a building. And then that same uh, same event had, uh, had uh, uh, coins minted after it, right? And then here is probably one of the more famous paintings, right? Uh, it's from the 15th century, which 1400s painting in Palacio Vecchio Museum in Florence, Italy, right? So of, of the uh, Madonna and the, and the, you know, baby. But behind her, right, is this image here, right? Where you have a shepherd and a dog looking up at this, this craft, this thing here, right? Well, let's zoom in. What is that? That's a chariot. That is a chariot of the Lord, a so-called UFO, right? So the whole notion that UFOs are in fact the chariots of, of, of the Lord is an old idea, right? It's an old uh, bit of knowledge that has been known, right? It's only recently, right, in the last century that this information has been purposely forgotten. And why is that? Because those in power have, have, a, have an agenda to perform. That is to get the world to become unbelievers and to not regard the things of heaven to be that of heaven, right? They, they want you to look at these chariots and say, oh, they're UFOs, or they're little green men from Mars and all these type of things because what they want, they want you to be an unbeliever. They don't want you to know about this truth or to even understand what's in the Bible. Why do you think they paid billions of dollars you know, to, to 501c3 church organizations to mis, mislead the masses, right? Why do you think they have a, a whole code book of, of what could be spoken about and what cannot? And that's because, you see, in that funding of these 501c3 nonprofit organizational churches, they have, an, they have a weapon, a weapon of mass disinformation that is being used against not only you, but against the world to basically get the get the world to be uh, what does it say? The scripture says that uh, that went out to deceive the world. See, they're deceiving the world, right? They're making the world believe that God is just a fairy tale, that the Bible is just a book, and that these chariots that we're seeing in the sky that they're simply just anomalies or drones or all these. You know other hundreds of different explanations that don't line up this is isaiah 41 and 14. fear not thou worm jacob and ye men of israel i will help thee saith yahweh bashim al-shai thy redeemer the holy one of israel right and the pre reason i bring this out is because one the lord refers to us as a worm Right? Because we are so insignificant, right? Us humans here on earth, right? And and when you get, let's get back to that image here. I want you to, I don't know if, if, if you noticed this, right? But let's get back to here. Here it is. This is just the outline of, of this chariot, right? Look how huge it is compared to the earth. This is how big the earth is right here, right? In comparison to this huge thing here. So when the Lord shows up in his, in his fathership, right? And it comes over the world. This is how the world is going to see the Lord, right? In this huge, uh, basically mountain, right? There's a, there's a movie that just recently came out that it's called Moonfall, right? Where it shows the moon in such a close distance from the earth that it basically covers up almost the entire sky, uh, sky view, right? And that's basically what the Lord's chariots are gonna gonna uh, do right because it's such a huge craft right and and from that craft is gonna come all these other chariots that are gonna come and save people you know more likely or or at least come down and destroy the the, the other kingdoms of the world right so 
that's that's what's described in the scriptures, right? And 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 that ultimately is why the Lord refers to Jacob, and not only Jacob, but his 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 lineage, right? Men of Israel as worms, right? We are we are so insignificant, right? And when you consider what's going on right now in the world and how Esau, the so-called Caucasian race, has not only us Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans over over a barrel, but the rest of the world, you understand that we actually need the Lord. We we cannot save ourselves from this current predicament. These devils, if, if there was no such thing as a Lord or, or or these promises, we are, you know, our numbers would would be up, right? <laughs> these these devils would win, right? And and there'd be no such thing as a Negro Latino Native American left in existence if these devils got their way. But this is why the Lord said, said things like this, man, because like it says, right? He says, uh, he will help, he will help us, man, right? Because he is our redeemer, right? And why is that? Well, because the Lord chose us out of all the nations, right? Because of, out of all the choosing from left to right, you know, or from one one, one son to, for, to the other son, the Lord eventually chose us, right? Just how, he chose um, uh, uh, Abel instead of Cain, and it go and then he chose uh, Abraham instead of Lot, and and you know and there's so many different uh, examples of this, right? Where eventually he chose Jacob over Esau, right? And that's this is why we are the chosen people. This is why this is going to happen to us. This is Revelations 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them right and that cloud are the chariots which are going to be sent to to save the 144,000 plus the one-third of Israel meaning one out of every three Negro Latino and Native Americans will see salvation in this manner right because to survive the coming destruction of the world that's going to come, right? When I say destruction of the world, I'm talking about the the World War III and the nuclear war that's going to commence, right? And all that nuclear fallout that will come and destroy a large por portion, portion, excuse me, of the earth, right? We're going to have to be taken up into the clouds, right? The so-called UFOs, the chariots, to be able to survive this, man, right? And then who knows, you know, how long we're going to stay up there. But eventually, once the, you know, once the Lord says go, he's going to bring us back down to earth where we're going to basically start rebuilding, right? And we're going to be using the other heathen nations as the laborers to build up our nation, right? So I just wanted to show this video off him. I thought it was, it was pretty crazy. I'd like to just show you, man, these things are like, there's some massive things taking place in the background, right? Even though it may be a slow week, slow day or whatever, there's lots of things going on which we, we don't even get to see, right? The Lord is making massive moves, right? And man, we're almost out of here, Akio. So hopefully this video was edifying. Until the next time, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rabokmadosh. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.